is time you start using correlative conjunctions. Have you ever heard of phrases like these in English? Neither do they speak nor listen. Both my brother and I play football. Just as you like basketball, so do I. So check out these word pairs, neither, nor, both, and, and just as, so. These are what we call correlative conjunctions in English. And there are more than just these ones. We use conjunctions as well as correlative conjunctions in English to join words or phrases that have the same or equal utility, nouns with nouns, adjectives with adjectives, etc. For example, in. You are both tall and nice. We use the correlative conjunction both and to connect the adjectives tall and nice, hence they are of the same grammatical utility. We cannot say, for example, You are both tall and nicely. Because tall is an adjective and nicely is an adverb, so we have two words of different grammar utilities, an adjective and an adverb. In this lesson, we will learn the most popular correlative conjunctions in English, which are neither, nor, either, or, both, and, not only, but also, just as, so, whether, or. We will cover all of them in order, so if you only want to learn a specific one, then just use the timestamps in the description of this video to find exactly what you need. Neither, nor. Use neither nor to make two things, people or experiences, negative. Neither my dad nor my mom like television. Here there are two people, dad and mom, who don't like television. So here we can use the correlative conjunction, neither nor. Neither my country nor yours have lakes. So both countries do not have lakes, therefore we have two of the same. So the best way to express this is with neither nor. Either, or. We use this combination when we have two choices or options. We can choose one of them. This one definitely comes in handy. Either you visit your cousin on Tuesday or Friday. Here you can choose if you visit your cousin on Tuesday or Friday. You have a choice, hence either, or. Can you either bring me a tea or a coffee, please? The two choices are tea and coffee. Remember, use either or when you want to present a choice between two options. Both and. We can use both and to show that two things or people are the same, that is both options are equal. I love both my sister and my brother. Here, you love two people, your sister and your brother, so you love two people equally, Hence, both and. You could both like and subscribe to this amazing lesson if you wanted to. Apologies, but we just had to plug. Not only, but also. We use this combination to give more information about something. Further, here comes the somewhat tricky part. We need to invert the subject with the verb as if it were an interrogative, but only if we begin the phrase with not only. You'll see what we mean with some examples. Not only are you nice, but also you are amazing. Here, we have to invert the first R with you because we began the phrase with not only. We will take a look to see the incorrect version where we do not invert the subject with the verb. Not only you are nice, but also you are amazing. This is a common mistake, and this correlative conjunction, in particular, is a little special, whereby you need to invert the subject with the verb if you begin the phrase with not only. Therefore, Not only are you nice, but also you are amazing. However, if we do not begin the phrase with not only, then we do not need to do the inversion. For example, You are not only nice, but also you are amazing. See what we mean? Here, because we did not begin with not only, but rather you are, we do not have to invert the subject with the verb. We will look at a couple more examples because this one might be a little tricky. Not only did you work hard, but also you finished on time. 
Since we began with not only, we must invert the main auxiliary verb did with the subject you. On the contrary, we do not have to begin the phrase with not only, in which there would be no auxiliary inversion. For instance, You not only worked hard, but also you finished on time. Here, we also used worked because we do not have did to indicate the past, hence the past simple form worked. If you would like to know more about auxiliary inversion, there is a link in the description. Just as, so. We can use just as so to show a similarity between two people or things. It's also common to use ellipsis with this correlative conjunction to shorten the sentence. Ellipsis is when you omit words to make a phrase shorter. You'll see exactly what we mean in just a tick. Just as my friend likes hiking, so does my sister. This phrase has the same meaning as, just as my friend likes hiking, so does my sister also like hiking. So, instead of adding also like hiking to the sentence, we can use a type of ellipsis with just as so. Ellipsis just means that you omit some words because they are already assumed. We use ellipsis to avoid making redundant phrases. Further, we are using the correlative conjunction just as so as another way of saying, my friend likes hiking and my sister also likes hiking. It's just a more advanced and fluid way of saying it. Just as we do sports, so does Maria. This phrase has the same meaning as, just as we do sports, so does Maria also do sports. Here, we do not want to add the last part also do sports because it is redundant. Furthermore, we use the correlative conjunction just as so here to say that we do sports and Maria also does sports. We have an amazing link in the description that talks all about ellipsis in English, if you'd like to know more about that. Whether or. Whether or is somewhat similar to either or, such that you have a choice between two options. However, whether or is a little different in that we normally give a consequence or effect depending on either one of the options being true or both of them being true. Vamos. Whether you take that street or the other street, it is not important. So here we make use of whether or to give two options followed by an effect or consequence. It is not important, meaning it's not important which street you take. In this case, you can take both options, but the result will still be the same. That result is, it is not important. Hence, whether or. This one's a beauty. Our party will still happen whether you like it or not. In this case, the consequence is, our party will still happen and we don't care about the conditions, those being whether you like it or not. Did you learn something from this lesson? Then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Happy English learning.